Welcome to Crafty Lens Mnemonics. This is just a short video to talk about association. We didn't touch on it much in the last one, so I wanted to just expand a bit on it. So in the last one we talked about how we have to associate the familiar with the absurd. But association, why? Why do we have to associate it? Well, the, mem the memory, uh, I suppose we, could call, we have to call it the memory, not the mind. The memory works very visually, very, it uses a lot of the senses rather than letters and words. So we have to use things which are uh, of the senses. I will not say central because that sounds strange. <laughs> but we have to make an uh, association. Now, an easy test, I, thought, I said I would make a video which will go up after this. Um, we're going to do some a simple association. So, if for example, you wanted to remember that you had to buy, um, say, fish, uh, and you have to put on your list, and you have to remember how you say fish. So, for example, you would associate it with something familiar. Uh, so, for example, what is familiar? Well, um, you have to. Go, say your front room is full of fish okay and they're having a party right now that's an absurd uh, absurd image but you've made this association between your front room and the the fact that you have to buy fish now until you buy the fish they, they won't leave your front room so you're going to remember until I buy the fish that they're, they're going to be there stinging the place up smacking them now now think of it remember you remind yourself of the smell of fish and the nasty oily fishy smell so you use all your senses you're linking your senses to the image of fish having a party in your living room so you've got the and you can feel the touch of them for example the slimy touch and you're linking all these familiar things to something which is an absurd image and this is how the association works the linking part okay that's just an example but you, you can use all your senses and we use our senses more we remember for example you remember the smell of the food you like you remember the smell of the food you hate or smell of anything you hate you remember the touch of things very well you know what's soft and slimy like a fish you know the smell of fish for example and when you associate that that with the familiar thing of your room, you can uh, remember it very quickly. Now you would do this with the, obviously if you have a shopping list, you can do this better, and uh, we'll look into that obviously. But I wanted to make this this why we link it. Why I've got this chain here? It's linking that. Okay, it's linking that absurd image that you ha or that thing you have to remember with that which is familiar. Now the association is the key, because you can do think of lots of absurd things, you can think of lots of familiar things, but when you don't associate, you lose it. This is why sometimes we remember um, very Im uh, incidents in our life which have made a very strong impression, because we've linked the feeling, the emotion, or the sensual experience of it to the actual uh, actual uh, memory so for example a painful memory you will remember because pain is very memorable so for example you can imagine a, a fish a piranha biting you <laughs> and you would think of blood coming out and the feeling of that you know anything that associate that links them together is the most important thing now the linking is crucial this is why I'm doing an extra little video because of it if you don't link then this uh, the mnemonic doesn't work okay this is why mnemonics this is how it's built on this linking association uh, concept any other thing if you don't do it you forget it this is why many things in our day just be, we forget and we don't remember and they become part of our past and uh, unconscious and we don't remember it but when we link it with something that is memorable, uh, strange, and um, and with something familiar, like our senses, and like 
said in the last video your roots routines people famous people and uh, that link is secured it makes it stronger and stronger the memory becomes stronger and stronger so this is what we're aiming for when we talk about association to reinforce the link between the memory and what you want to remember so we're reinforcing every time so the fish the fish the fish <laughs> becomes stronger and the more things you add to it the stronger the link becomes and uh, you will not forget it so this is why I wanted to add this little video about association to, to make sure it is uh, it's there in front of you you kind of get rid of it and it's gonna be all the time everything's about association and the association of the familiar with the absurd so Hopefully I've uh, reinforced that a bit and uh, we'll be getting onto the systems, don't worry, but these are important concepts you need to understand before you begin mnemonics. So we'll uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Doodaloo.